Okay, I'm going to be working on a pretty small piece here, so I've zoomed in. Uh, I don't know how well I'll be able to keep the action in the field of view. Um, I have here a piece of hard maple. I've center punched the end. It's about 5 8 inches square and about 4 inches long. I'm going to uh, try to turn a pendant for a Christmas ornament here. For the initial mount, I'm uh, just using the tail center basically to get things aligned. I will be turning that around. Uh, the way I've been uh, doing the Christmas ornaments, the centerpiece of the ornament, either a snowman or a Christmas tree or whatever you like, I turn with a quarter inch tenon on the bottom of it. Um, the pendant I turn with a 3 8 tenon on the top of it and I bore a quarter inch hole in into the pendant tenon. So the pendant tenon comes up through the bottom of the ornament and the centerpiece tenon fits into the quarter inch hole in the pendant. So I'm actually gluing the centerpiece to the pendant rather than into the ornament. Uh, so I'm just going to turn a tenon on the end of this which I will use to grip it in the chuck when I turn it around. Um, and because I'll be gripping it in the chuck it's going to get all chewed up by the jaws so uh, that won't be the final tenon. Um, I'll be turning another tenon down in this area which will be the final tenon. The initial tenon will be just used to grip it when I turn it around. So I'll uh, turn that tenon on there now. Use my uh, 3 8 beading and parting tool. just to make sure the shoulders are nice and square. Okay, that should be good for the tenon. Okay, so for the quarter inch hole in the end, I have to bore that now. So I want that hole, the mortise for the uh, centerpiece tenon, to come in to the bottom of what will be my final tenon. So I want to come in about 
an inch, I guess. Uh, yeah, I want to come in to about there. So I'll have these shoulders here. Then I'll be able to turn a 3 8 inch tenon after I... Uh, that'll be one of the last steps before I'm fully complete on it. So I want this... Uh, hole that I'm about to bore to go right to the bottom of the uh, final tenon. Which means about an inch and that would be right about there. Now I would normally uh, put some tape on it or something just to mark the hole but I'll just, this time I'll just keep my finger there and go in that far. Right about there. And I take that out of the tailstock because I don't want that sharp end sticking out and when I'm not paying attention to it, I'm liable to back into it. So basically, I'm now ready to turn it around. Now if the tenon shoulders are nice and square and I've got them up tight to the front of the uh, face of the chuck jaws it should be running pretty true when I turn it around and at this point it, a little bit of uh, out of trueness won't matter that much because I haven't even turned that section round yet. Okay, so I'm going to be... Uh, the very top section will be the tenon. Then there'll be a uh, flange, I guess you call it, that would... that will seat up against the bottom of the ornament. Then there'll be a cove, a ball shape, and then a long tapering uh, section with a little tiny ball on the end of it. So I'll turn most of it round now. Since the tailstock isn't here, I don't really need to use the short rest, and I'm going to want to be able to put my fingers through there without hitting the post, so I'm going to switch to the long rest. <laughs> 